Aso san. Mount Aso is the largest active volcano in Japan. Travel it leaves you speechless, then turns you into a storyteller. Ibn Battuta was an Arabized Berber explorer who traveled more than any other explorer in pre-modern history, totaling around 117,000 kilometers, surpassing Marco Polo with 24,000 kilometers. Traveling, it gives you home in thousands strange places, then leaves you a stranger in your own land. I am not the same having seen the moon shine on the other side of the world. If you think adventure is dangerous, try routine, it's lethal. Paulo Coelho is a Brazilian lyricist and novelist. His novel The Alchemist became an international bestseller. Man cannot discover new oceans unless he has the courage to lose sight of the shore. André Chide was a French author who was awarded the 1947 Nobel Prize in Literature. Stop worrying about the potholes in the road and enjoy the journey. Barbara Babs Hoffman is a former infielder who played from 1951 through 1952 in the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League. A long journey does not stop at the destination, a piece of us will always travel on in spirit. Andreas Beckstein is an occasional aphorist. The tourist destroys what he is looking for by finding it. Enzensberger was a German author, who influenced the 1968 West German student movement. Once a year go somewhere you have never been before. Tenzing Gyatso is the 14th and incumbent Dalai Lama and lives in exile as a refugee in India. An investment in travel is an investment in yourself. Matthew Carsten is an adventure travel blogger, photographer and digital nomad who has been exploring the world for over 10 years. Jobs fill your pockets. Adventures fill your soul. Jamie Lynn Beatty is an U.S. American actress, singer, writer, producer, and performer based in Los Angeles. Coming back to where you started is not the same as never leaving. Terence Pratchett was an English humorist and author of fantasy novels. He is best known for his Discworld series of 41 novels. The home of adventure is the foreign land. Emil Gott was a German author. Whoever wants to travel must first bring love for the country and its people, at least no bias. He must have good will to find the good instead of making it dead by comparison. Fontaine was a German novelist and poet, regarded by many as the most important 19th century German language realist author. A clever person finds the best education while traveling. Goethe is widely regarded as the greatest and most influential writer in the German language.
Only where you have been on foot, you have really been. The most dangerous of all worldviews is the worldview of people who have not viewed the world. Alexander von Humboldt was a German explorer. He traveled extensively in the Americas, exploring and describing them for the first time from a modern Western scientific point of view. See the world. It is more fantastic than any dream. Ray Bradbury was one of the most celebrated 20th century American writers. He is widely known for his novel Fahrenheit for 51 and his short story collections The Martian Chronicles. One's destination is never a place, but a way of seeing things. Henry Miller was an American novelist whose most characteristic works are Tropic of Cancer, Black Spring, Tropic of Capricorn, and the trilogy The Rosy Crucifixion, which are based on his experiences in New York and Paris, all of which were banned in the United States until 1961. To look only at the destination spoils the pleasure of traveling. Ruckert was a German poet, translator, and professor of Oriental languages. He was master of 30 languages and made his mark chiefly as a translator of Oriental poetry and as a writer of poems conceived in the spirit of Oriental masters. To travel is to discover that everyone is wrong about other countries. Aldous Huxley was an English writer and philosopher. In his most famous novel Brave New World he presented his visions of dystopia. Who starts to look like his passport photo should go on vacation. Ephraim Kishin was a Hungarian-born Israeli author who was one of the most widely read contemporary satirists in Israel. Everyone is good at something. I, for example, am good at sitting by the sea. Paths are made by walking them. Franz Kafka was a German-speaking bohemian novelist, who is widely regarded as one of the major figures of 20th century literature. His work fuses elements of realism and the fantastic, the term Kafkaesque has entered English to describe absurd situations like those depicted in his writing. Explore the world, for there is no other way to get to the truth. Seneca the Younger was a Stoic philosopher of ancient Rome. The shortest path to oneself leads around the world. Hermann von Kieseling was a Baltic German philosopher. His best known work is Travel Journal of a Philosopher. The book describes his travels in Asia, America, and Southern Europe. People don't take trips, trips take people. John Steinbeck was an American writer. He won the 1962 Nobel Prize in Literature. He is widely known for the epic East of Eden, 1952, and the Pulitzer Prize, winning the Grapes of Wrath. A journey is like marriage. The certain way to be wrong is to think you control it. I have found out that there ain't no surer way to find out whether you like people or hate them than to travel with them. Samuel Langhorne Clemens, best known by his pen name Mark Twain, was an American writer. His novels include The Adventures of Tom Sawyer and its sequel, Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. The traveler sees what he sees. 
the tourist sees what he has come to see. Gilbert Keith Chesterton was an English writer, who created the fictional priest detective Father Brown. Wherever you go somehow becomes a part of you. Anita Desai is an Indian novelist and professor of humanities at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. You don't have to be rich to travel well. Eugene Fodor was a Hungarian-American writer of travel literature. A journey is best measured in friends rather than miles. Tim Cahill is a travel writer who lives in Montana, United States. Live your life by a compass, not a clock. Stephen Covey was an American educator. His most popular book is The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Take only memories with you, leave nothing but footprints. Chief Seattle pursued a path of accommodation to white settlers. The city of Seattle was named after him. A widely publicized speech arguing in favor of ecological responsibility and respect of Native Americans' land rights had been attributed to him. I have an insane calling to be where I am not. Fear is only temporary. Regret lasts forever. If you're 22, physically fit, hungry to learn and be better, I urge you to travel, as far and as widely as possible. Sleep on floors if you have to. Find out how other people live and eat and cook. Learn from them, wherever you go. Anthony Bourdain was an American celebrity chef, author, and travel documentarian. He starred in programs focusing on the exploration of international culture, cuisine, and the human condition. I haven't been everywhere yet, but it's on my list. Susan Sontag was an American writer who was active in writing and speaking about, or traveling to, areas of conflict including during the Vietnam War and the Siege of Sarajevo. If you reject the food, ignore the customs, fear the religion, and avoid the people, you might better stay home. James Michener was an American writer who was known for the meticulous research that went into his books. Goodbye and have a nice trip.